Have you ever seen something while watching Star Wars that made you want to pause and rewind just to make sure you're not crazy? I feel like I'm always noticing little background characters tripping or doing something way too cool to be a background character. So I went ahead and started making these videos to go back and look for all the tiny little details that no one notices when they watch something for the first time. We have so many good videos and have found so many cool things that no one's noticed before, but today we will be taking a look back at the Clone Wars. In fact, we are going all the way back to the last arc of season one, Ryloth. This this is actually a part two video. We looked at the first two episodes in this video here. Definitely go watch it if you haven't seen it. And this video is going to be for the final episode, Liberty on Ryloth. There is so much to unpack in this episode. It is perfect for this series. I don't know if you remember when the last time you saw this was, but I remember seeing Mace Windu go crazy when they stormed the castle. I remember seeing a Blurg eat a battle droid, I'm pretty sure, as well as an Indiana Jones Easter egg. And I already found a really tiny detail in the huge Where's Waldo shot at the end. So rear up and punch that subscribe subscribe button. Only 12% of the people watching these videos are actually subscribed, which is way too small. Everyone go punch the subscribe button and tell me what battle you want to see next and we'll watch that. I'm working on Camino right now, but I need suggestions. What? What was that? I forgot about that. Holy cow. Mace Windu just walks right up to the cockpit and uses the force to shatter the glass so he doesn't hurt the trooper inside. That is so cool. I'm going to do what's called a pro gamer move. This whole arc is so much better than I remember. Ugh, these ATRTs are so clutch. Okay, yeah, we can assume we definitely got all the clones out, right? There's four of them sitting there. I can't believe it only takes four to pilot that huge thing. I would think there'd be more gunners, if anything. Oh, just to see those running over top is so cool. Hops out, one for Mace Windu. That is so cool. I wish we got to see them go 110% in Revenge of the Sith, the few minutes that we saw them on screen. We barely just saw them like walk around. This would be so cool to see them like this in live action. Oh, did he just kick him? This guy shoots this droid in the head, knocks his head off, almost runs him over. This guy gets shot. Okay, so this guy gets shot in the waist and then Mace Windu shoots this guy in the head. Honestly, if you mass produce these, they would do so well on the battlefield, I feel like, or at least with big open battles. What a good throw. I'm gonna enlist the help of the Freedom Fighters, led by Sham Sindula. I wonder how long it would take to learn to read and write Arabesh. Does anyone know? Is anyone like fluent? Can you read it without using a decipher? Put it in the comments. I'm, I'm kind of curious. That might be a cool video. Whoa, this is so cool. Their base is inside a downed landing ship. These are the things that we saw on Naboo in episode one. This is so cool. I never noticed they lived inside one of these. See, there's nothing to be afraid of here. Oh my gosh, Blurgs! This is a female. The males are all eaten during mating. What was that droid doing? Oh, he was waving. It's like, what on earth? Oh, this episode was brutal. I forgot they bombed the city. That is wild. I forgot about that. Ah, yes, the ancient warm-ups before we go to war to fight the battle droids. Is this all of it? We are still awaiting two transports from our southern base. Should it's the Ark of the Covenant, a little Indiana Jones reference. Look, that's so cool. He's having them loaded on as one of the treasures from the planet. Ah, you see it back there? That's so cool. What else do they have? Just like gold and stuff? Just boxes, bunch of statues over here. I don't know how much those are worth, but okay. These poor guys look so sad that they're loading up all their treasures from their planet onto the droid's ship. Oh, this scene is so cool. I love that this one droid just forgets about the siren and he just stays on and they're like, oh, oh well, he's disposable. Poor guy. When I get control of the bridge, you must start the attack. Oh, this part is so cool. I love the staps. I feel like there's a lot of elements in Clone Wars early seasons that we just didn't get to see after the first like three seasons. It changed a lot. Now, real quick, let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, Dave. 
Dave is the mobile banking app that could help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. The holidays are right around the corner. If you're worried about your Christmas spending and keeping your budget from being all over the place, Dave just might be what you're looking for. Dave can help you always know how much you have to spend while still covering all your bills with their nice automatic budgeting feature. And with Dave, there's no interest, late fees, or credit checks. Dave was made to help you avoid bank overdraft fees. They let you link your existing accounts to Dave to help you organize your budgeting, or you can open your own Dave banking account with its own debit card. And what's nice is they'll let you know if you're ever close to overdrawing your account so you can curb your spending or get up to $500 with extra cash. Be prepared for the holidays by downloading Dave at dave.com slash Michael J. That's dave.com slash Michael J. Sign up for an extra cash account and get up to $500 instantly. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Instant transfer fees apply. Banking provided by Evolve, member FDIC. Thanks to Dave for sponsoring this video and thanks to you guys for checking out Dave. All right, now back to the video. This was such a clean slice. Jump right onto the staff and off with his head. Wait, I'm picking up an anomaly in there. Stay alert. These little metal detectors are, or human detectors are so cool. I don't know what they are. Trooper, prepare to fire. What is written on his back? What is written on the back of this guy's helmet? I have no idea what that says. Oh no. You're under arrest. You have the rain Was that the Ark of the Covenant? Cool, that's a better shot of it. That's neat. We're under attack. The one droid got stuck in between the door right here. Ooh, that was a beautiful hit. He got shot on the staff first, and then another bolt hit him on the side. He got shot twice in the same time. That's so cool. Oh, I love the way they look when they stand on this under their feet. It looks so cool, this little glow right here. I love how they cut the music here. All the sound effects just drop. Very dramatic. Oh my gosh, look, there it goes. Look, the arc is right here. It falls out just into the chasm forever. I'll hold him off. Get that bridge back up. Oh, yes, sir. Charge! This is so cool. Wow, look at all these. This is so cool. Okay, he does a little force grab on this droid and then knocks him into a second droid. This clone on the left shoots one guy here. Oh, it looks like this clone shoots the droid in front of him. I didn't even realize that. He drops. There we go. That was beautiful. Straight to the chest. The precision it must take to deflect blaster bolts at a specific spot is incredible. They make it look so easy. Oh my gosh, he jumps back like he just saved his life. You see that? Never noticed that. He jumps back, he's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just evaded a Jedi. Mace Windu at that. And then instead of shooting him, boom, there goes his head. See, it does this weird effect when they like put a light behind an object the first second. It looks so weird. I think it's just the way they had to render it. I'm not sure why it looks like this. We saw it in the uh, Umbara arc too. It looks like it's been rotoed out. Maybe they just rotoed it out and dropped it on top. This one gets hit so dramatically. He gets hit in the chest and he just falls backwards and sprawls over the control panel. Oh my gosh, this one gets his head shot off. Honestly, the accuracy on the clones is so superior. Look at this tiny little spot it hits. Has anyone played Battlefront, especially Battlefront 2? It is so hard to shoot the droids, especially in the head. This clone just nails it flawlessly without even trying. Oh my gosh, did he grip his stomach as if he was in pain? Look at this, he gets shot in the stomach and immediately grabs himself and then just falls forward. That is hilarious. These droids are so dramatic. I love how much personality they give him in the show. Bridges up, sir. Oh my gosh, did you see that? He just body slammed a battle droid. Maybe he's using the force to hold him up. This is so cool. He slams him down with so much force. I don't remember this at all. Okay, speaking of what would look cool in a shirt, this, that would look so cool. Or even when he hits, oh, that would look so sick. Mace Windu's a beast. Just putting that out there. Look at that. He took out a whole platoon and a tank in seconds. This is so cool. I love the blurgs and the Twi'leks on their backs charging, just fighting the battle droids. I love when the natives have to fight the uh, Trade Federation. 
Oh, that's so cool. You see him swipe him with his tail. Does it break him in two? Oh my gosh, his legs go flying to the left. What is that? Is that his gun? His gun goes up in the air. That's so cool. Jeez, he did like four backflips. Those blurgs are powerful. Oh, I love that he just eats him. That's so cool. It's like a little dog toy. Oh my gosh. You see the assassin droid come in behind this droid and pick him up and the droid is still firing. Like, what are you doing? Jeez, these things are so nasty. I used to hate them because they killed so many clones. My ship. I love that this droid just gets up and leaves him even though he's like 50 yards behind him, just to spite him. Surrender. Poor droid just stopped fighting after that. After this first slice, when he gets rid of his blaster, he just starts walking away like he's done fighting. This is like a little Where's Waldo picture. This is so cool. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, look, there's the one clone that learned how to ride the Blurg. Oh, look, Ahsoka and Anakin landed. That's so cool. They landed their starships and hopped out. I never noticed that. Tiny little detail. Because they're not in this shot. They're, I think there's one shot with them. Wait, there was no shots with Anakin and Ahsoka. They were in there for just that one shot, for real? Jeez, it was so refreshing to watch this arc. It was so freaking good. And I forgot so much of what happened. If you have any other battles of the Clone Wars or just live action Star Wars or even Star Wars shows or other movies, please drop them in the comments of which ones we should look at next. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't watched part one, definitely go watch that. I've got more videos coming out soon, but until then, I will see you in the comments. Remember, the Force will be with you, always.